Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to create a button hover effect using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's get started. Here we have a div element with a class attribute of bg that is background. Next we have a div element with a class attribute of container. Inside the container div there is a button element with a class attribute of button and the text here is click. That is the context of the button. Now let's set CSS. Let's tell the body element. Here box heading is set to border box. Display is set to flex. Justify content is set to center. Now let's tell the BG class that is background class. Here position is set to fix, top and left is set to 50%, so position the element of the center, mean width and mean height is set to 100%, so it covers the entire viewport, width is set to auto and the height is set to auto. So that it maintains the aspect ratio of the background image. Z index is set to minus 100 so that it places the element behind other element. Transform is set to translate x minus 50% and translate y is set to minus 50%. So we adjust the element position. Next, background color is set to black. Here we specify the background image. Here the position is set to center, we set the position to center and we add no repeat. Next we set the background size to cover so, it, so that the image covers the entire element. Filter is set to saturate 30% and the brightness is set to 0.3% so that it applies the filter effect to reduce saturation and brightness. Now let's tell the click class. Here we apply the light up animation. And here we set the 4 second is out 1. Now let's tell the uh, click to class. Here we apply the light up to animation with the class and last 5 second with an is and out timing function. Now let's tell the container.
container is set to margin top 6 now let's tell the button class height is set to 60 pixel width is set to 200 pixel border is set to 2 pixel white solid background color is set to transparent color is set to white i mean the text color text transform is set to uppercase font weight is set to 20 pixel so that it should probably the font size set the font size now let's set keyframe here we set light up animation 0% is set to filter saturate 100% and brightness 2 and 4% is set to filter saturate 100% brightness 2 and the 100% is set to filter Saturate 100% and the brightness 0.3 seconds. Now let's set keyframe in the light up 2. That is the second one. Here 0% is set to filter. Saturate. 100% and brightness 2 and the other 4% is set to filter saturate 100% and the brightness 2 and the last here filter is set to saturate 100% sorry 30% and brightness is set to 0.3 Now let's set JavaScript. Here we use VG variable and to with, uh, and we use document query selector method. Next, we have a add event uh, click listener to an element with the class button. When, so that when the button is clicked, next we have a switch statement that checks the class name of the BG element. Next, we have a background element class that is PG click. Here, the code changed to PG click to so that it implies that when you click the button, it toggles between two classes. Next, we have a PG element class that is anything other than the PG click. Here, it set the class to a PG click. This provides a way to toggle back and the fourth between the two class with the button so that's it for today's video if you enjoy the video and want to see more tutorials make sure to hit that button and subscribe to our channel for more web development tutorials